Yo, those ones are sick. Yolanda, oh, oh, oh. Nice. Is that Yolanda oh, Sabine? Sabine? Oh, What's God. going on? What's up? How y'all been? Oh. Hey, yo, 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 MP, let me get a selfie for I the gram. You, I got you. Oh. Oh, I like that. That's cute. <laughs> Make sure you send me that eye. Right? <laughs> yo, 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 yo. When are you going to get your own shoe for real? How are you going to let them play you like that? Yeah, oh, yeah, man. Yeah. We, we working on it a little bit. But in the meantime, I heard y'all have to hook up to the Flyers Kicks in the city. Am oh, I right or wrong? Oh, well, everyone knows that, <laughs> Oh, yo, 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 Sabine, be nice. This man is a potential customer mm. and one who happens to have millions of dollars. Oh, good point, good point. <laughs> All right, so what you looking for, MP? Cool, so I'm looking to make headlines. Mm. So I'm looking for the rarest, flyest kicks y'all can find. Can you what hear me out? What do you think, Yolanda? What do you think? Go ahead. <laughs> All right, peep this. Mm. Take a look. These are two of our best. Mm -hmm. Those are fire. Yeah. Tell me a little bit more about them. All right, well, listen, we, we ain't even trying to sell these, all right? These these are our retirement, retirement fund. Mm. <laughs> but uh, it's not every day that the future Rookie of the Year asks you for shoes. True, so, true. Uh, so this first one is a special pair of retro sneakers. Dead, Dead stock. stock. Ain't never worn. Uh -huh. no, nobody has another pair like them on uh -uh. the planet. Uh -huh. right, hold on, hold on, hold on. Now, what about those? Those are fire. What's, talk to me, talk to me. Those? All right, all right, those are one of a kind, mm -hmm. okay? They were designed by a contemporary, super well-known, by the way, mm -hmm. contemporary <laughs> artist, so that makes them one, one of one. one. Okay, you won't get these anywhere mm -hmm. else. No, 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 how much you want for those? Whoa, 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 whoa! whoa. How much you want just waving your little wall in front of us? No. Okay, this is our life's work, MP. Yeah, if you want these sneakers, you're going to have to work for them. Oh, and, uh... You only get one pair, or not, not both. both. Just want to make sure that we are perfectly clear. Nah, for We're sure. still clear. We're good, but like, what I gotta do for them? Okay, well, uh, first you gotta make sure that we know your stuff. Uh -huh. Yeah, uh, we can't have you out there in the streets wearing our shoes, right. making us look like we, we mess, mess with fools. All right, <laughs> I, I, I hear you. I hear you. Let's get it. All right. Okay, no way you're gonna know this one, but the famous and infamous Birkin bag. Ooh. It. What? I get excited. No, the iconic no, it's, it's one. Okay, it is iconic. Yeah, yeah, yeah bro, it's iconic. I know. Okay, it is. I'm gonna, All right, I'm gonna get one. Oh, yeah. Yo, you should get the Himalaya crocodile <laughs> one. If I had an extra two hundred thousand dollars to spend on a Birkin bag, that I'd be hanging on a street corner with you. Come on. Uh. Yeah. Yeah. No, no, no. It's okay. Yeah, I would. All right. Anyways, uh, who makes the Birkin bag? It's gotta be Gucci, right? <laughs> Not quite. Okay, you probably don't even know probably this. Probably not. Probably not. But which shoe company was the first to introduce a microchip into their sneakers that allowed athletes to check data like calories burned? That's a really, really good question. Um, I think it was Adidas. You got it. Okay, so some people I know, not me, uh -huh. but other people I know. Not her, but other people she knows. Don't even know how the Nike logo originated. Wait, what? Yeah, I know. Anyway, what was their original intent with its look and style? style. Ooh. They wanted a swoosh, since that's the closest thing to a swish, which is a perfect shot in basketball. Huh? Oh, shit. That was so wrong. Oh, my gosh. Son, we cannot have you out in the streets wearing these sneakers. People will know where they came from. Yeah, because if you're not down for the culture, down, down, down for the culture, down, down for the culture, down, down, down for the culture, we can't really ride with you like that. Ladies, ladies. I'm just trying to come pick kicks. Yeah, and we're saying these ain't the ones, so uh, go back when you actually know this world. Uh huh. Because <laughs> no way are we selling you mm -hmm. shoes till then. So bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye. Sayonara. See you later. You know mm -hmm. I'll be back, right? Keep wasting our okay, no way you're gonna know this one, but the famous and infamous Birkin bag. Ooh. It what? I get excited. No, the no, iconic it's, it's okay. one. It is iconic. Yeah, yeah, yeah bro, I know. Okay, it is. 
All right, I'm going to get one. Oh, yeah. No, you should get the Himalaya crocodile one. What would if I had an extra $200,000 to spend on a Birkin bag that I'd be hanging on a street corner with you? Come on. Uh, yeah. Yeah, no, 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 it's okay. Yeah, I would. All right, anyways. Uh, who makes the Birkin bag? Well, each one is handcrafted by an individual artisan, so I assume that you were asking which company, and that company is Hermes. Yeah, that's right. Okay, you probably don't even know probably this. Probably not. Probably not. But which shoe company was the first to introduce a microchip into their sneakers that allowed athletes to check data like calories burned? That's a really, really good question. Um, I think it was Adidas. You got it. Okay, so some people I know, not me, <laughs> but other people I know. Not her, but other people she knows. Don't even know how the Nike logo originated. Wait, what? Yeah, I know. Anyway, what was their original intent with its look and style? style. Ooh. Ooh. I just re I just read about this. Um, they wanted to convey motion. <laughs> Nailed it. <laughs> okay, okay, I see you, MP. <laughs> Little guy knows his stuff. <laughs> True. I did not expect a dorky looking dude like you to know that much, but uh, you smart like that. Okay, okay, okay. Oh. so being that I just won, how does this go? Do I just pick out a pair of sneaks that I won? Whoa, 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 whoa. whoa. Oh, it is not that easy, my yeah, guy. Bro, these are our best shoes. Uh -huh. If you want these, you're going to have to work a little harder, harder. for them. You serious? Yeah. yeah. Okay, what else I got to do? Uh, Can you tell him what he got to do? I think you're, tell yeah, him, please. you're going to have to uh, beat my girl here in a free throw shooting <laughs> contest. Free throws? That's it? Yeah, yeah no. why are you laughing? I mean, I, I mean, I know disrespect, by the way. Well, wait, so he thinks it's going to be easy. Oh, he thinks it's going to okay, be okay. easy. Oh, Let me I feel tell so you bad something, for my you. guy. Ah! I know that you're the man when it comes to dunking the ball, mm -hmm. but let me tell you something. I hold the city high, high school, school record, record for most consecutive free throws made. <laughs> right, right, Boys right. or girls? Everybody's in it. All right, all right. So what was the number on that? Like five, ten, oh, twenty, was maybe? It? What was five, that? ten. I think it was a hundred and eighty-seven. <laughs> yeah. You nice with it, huh? I am. That's pretty impressive. I give you thank that. You, thank you. Thank you. So, uh, let's shoot. Let's shoot. Yo, MP! <laughs> What's going on, What's man? up, man? Oh, I'm chilling. Oh, I gotta tell you. Yeah, yeah. You were giving them the business last I, night. I did a little. I did I, man. But hold on, hold on, hold on. Pants, bro. Where you get those from? Them joints are fire. You like these? Yeah. He's the, he's the key uh, specials. Yeah, special. I hate these joints myself. For real? Hey, yeah. man, you should be selling those, man, not being behind this counter. Uh, I appreciate that, but it's my mom's shot. This oh, is okay. important to me. It's beyond important. For sure, for sure. Hey, man, family business, I fully respect that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, we grew up homos, and she taught me how to sew, so kids used to clown me from wearing homemade stuff, and mm -hmm. she made them fresh, you know? <laughs> <laughs> hey, man, your mom sounds amazing, yeah, bro. she is, she is. Hey, she's a fan of you, too, to be honest. And oh. she wants a picture of you in the shop. Oh, man, you could definitely do that. Yeah. Hey, man, how about a picture for them pants? Hmm? See what I did there? <laughs> oh, man, I don't know. They kind of my signature. And when I walk out on the streets and on the court, people recognize me from my pants. On the court? Yeah. So, so you ball, too? Come on, man, I got game. I'm Steph Curry. I can see shot. it a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> so, so how about this? How about this, then? Play me one-on-one, -on -one, and if I win, you give me them pants. Think about it. Come on now. I Man, I got game, but you in the NBA. How about this? You play me a horse, and if I win, you give a shout out to OT Rody on the ground. Deal. Let's get yeah, that. Let's, let's get that. Let's do that. <laughs> All right, cool, man.
Guess I better stick to making pants. Oh, come on. Don't be hard on yourself, man. Hey, that's what I do for a living, brother. The oh. deal's a deal, bro. Got a couple of designs I've been working on. Check out these sketches. Ooh, I like these, especially this one. Yeah? yeah? Well, dope, man. Let me get to work, and I'll send them over when they're done. I appreciate it, man, and good luck with your spot, bro. Thanks, man. A crucial time of year for a lot of teams, Smitty, deciding whether to go all in on the playoff chase or look ahead to next season. I don't know, B.A. For me, it's all about trying to make the playoffs and win a championship. Yes, you can still keep an eye on the future when you're trying to win. Now the opening lineup for the Los Angeles Clippers. At small and power forward, it's George and Leonard. Wall and Powell are the backcourt duo, and it's Brown in at the five, roaming the paint. Boston on offense. And here's MP from outside, on target from range. Hey, when he's hitting that shot, it really helps the spacing for this team. Keeps the defense guessing. They don't know who to try to take away. Now here's Leonard, hovering around 19 and a half points a game. His scoring has been huge for them. And here's Tatum. From deep, MP. And again, Boston with the triple. To stretch out the defense, you just need enough guys on the floor who can make that shot. Time to Just so relentless. They knew that the arena would be rocking. And if they could execute well on the offensive end, they knew they could quiet down this hostile crowd. Well, Grant, you look at the Celtics and their defense. Not a surprise, it's at the heart of this team. No question. I mean, you have three plus defenders on the perimeter. Their big men can switch on the guards and protect the rim, too. Top to bottom, they can match up well with any team. Now here's Wall. Last game, he had 28 points. Not an ideal start for them. Still looking for their first field goal after four misses. The three. And the Celtics, another three. Their ability to space the floor has been the story of this game. If you love analytics, this is what this is all about. They favor the three ball. You can pile up points in a hurry. Oh, no good again that time. <laughs> Just brutal. I mean, five straight misses to begin the game. Oh, got that one up quick. Parker's got 15. When you let a team knock down that many threes, you know you're likely to be on the wrong side of a run. Williams against Brown. Here's George. A guy this team turns too often, averaging almost 24 a game. Oh, it's blocked by Williams. Deep, MP. Good, and it's Horford who picks up the assist. 18 points for him. You are filling it up tonight, MP. Here in the first, just under two and a half minutes played so far. Ball against Tatum. Wall on the attack. George for three. And again, no good by the Clippers. The Celtics have got all six shots to fall in the first. Few things get better as they age, especially in sports. Paul George is right up there with this all-around game. And it hasn't just been their stellar offense. Their defense has been effective as well. Yes, when it's going good, it feels easy. These are the nights you relish, but they're tough to replicate. And stolen by Williams. Inside, Horford. Perfect pass to set up the lay-in. <laughs> their offense looking like a well-oiled machine. 151 left in the first quarter. And again, Smitty, Paul George continues to impress. B.A., what impresses me the most is that he's still competing. First, first first two Scoring breakdown for the Celtics. Well, in my opinion, the way the three has been falling from them 
here early on. You have to think they'll keep firing away. You know, they've also been very effective at running the floor. Just a ton of points in the fast break. It's been a big part of their success. That shot's good, Mike Parker. This defense is getting spaced out. Three of the last five buckets have come from way beyond the arc. And the big finish by Wall. Are you serious? John Wall with the statement. Oh, that's pretty. Oh, doing damage above the rim. That was our AT&T 5G slam cam. Now here's Parker. In the game against Houston, very impressive. Williams a screen on George. Brown passes to Parker. Good. And Brown gets the assist. Parker's got 25 points in the game. Oh, flawless start for him here in the first quarter. Pass to Morris. There's 49 seconds left in the first quarter of the game. Morris, a screen on Parker. Here's Wall. Oh, that is something oh, else. Wow. Wow. And you can't talk about acrobatic finishers without talking about John Wall. Man, he's explosive. Williams finds Parker. And the Celtics another three. Throughout the evening, he's gotten to his spots where the defense has not adjusted. Now eight seconds separating the two clocks. Here's Wall. And he knocks it down. He's three of five now from the floor. So physical for a one. Wall has the size and skill to do work in the paint. Pass to Gallinari. Back to Parker. Williams a screen on George. And Brown, the bucket on the assist by MP. And early on, they've been on a tear. Just getting whatever they want offensively. They established the pace. They made shots. This is why they're way out in front. And so it's the Boston Celtics. And if you're just tuning in, we've got a wide margin on the scoreboard, but plenty of time left for a comeback. And guys, we've seen the Celtics really take control here. They are looking engaged so far, especially on offense. And that has helped them build an advantage here. Playing with good focus and good energy. First personal foul, first team foul. At the line for the Celtics. And guys, talk about silencing the critics. Tatum made first team All-NBA last year and led the Celtics to their first finals appearance in over a decade. Thanks. Well, MP in their last game against the Rockets really lit up the floor. He finished with 60 points and also did a lot of damage from long. An astounding game for him, putting up numbers we might be talking about for the rest of his career. Back to you. Great report there, Allie. It was obvious he could do anything he wanted. A fantastic win. Well, I'll tell you, he was enjoying himself out there, kind of like us here in the broadcast booth. And whoever was matched up against him wasn't enjoying themselves. What I like is they just kept calling his number. Sometimes we see coaches go away from what's working, and we wonder why. You know, probably the biggest shift for Tatum. First team for LA. Lonnie Walker for four. Two shots. KD. Substitution on the court. Keep shooting the rock, MP. They're scared of you. Just under three and a half minutes played here in the second quarter. Here's Parker. Oh, not wasting any time and taking the shot and hitting it. Parker's got 33. Clutch buckets. He's paving the way as they hit the home stretch. George against Brown. George with the bucket. It was a rough start for them scoring the ball, but they look like now they're really finding their rhythm and flow. Parker outside. Bledsoe outside, pass to Parker. And they recover it. Williams passes to Parker, another shot. 
And it's the Clippers with the rebound. Their last encounter was in Los Angeles. Big loss in their last meeting with this team. Couldn't get anything to fall in that one. That was with force by Kawhi. Dunking it over the defense and looking unstoppable. Good! Another from three. Buries his 10th triple of the game. Unbelievable, B.A. Unbelievable. Ball, the pass to George. Second shot opportunity, and he takes it up and lays it in. George has got his second basket of the night. And force feeding the ball inside. I mean, no reason to go away from what's working. Parker finds Horford. Bledsoe outside from deep. MP. That drops, and it comes off an assist from Bledsoe. Parker's got 39. Leonard outside. With one on the clock. And so a pretty lopsided game through the first half. Celtics out in front, opening up a huge gap. And we'll be right back after halftime for the start of the third quarter. See you in just a bit. With All-Star Weekend, fun fact, Kenny was the first person to compete in the dunk. And now switching gears to our featured game, a phenomenal first half for the Boston Celtics. Some teams live and die by the three. If I was on a team, we'd live by it. Well, I'm just saying, they're alive and well in this game, just like I was. What a performance shooting the ball, Shaq. Well, when you're getting three, your opponent's getting two. This is the result. See, and I didn't think that you would like the three ball today, but I've won you over. Shaq, I didn't think you were just going to let him make this whole thing about himself. Yes, indeed. But you did. Disappointing. Well, I wasn't aware that he was making it about himself. Anyway, when the three goes in, I like it. And that is going to do it for us. Let's get back to some second half action with Brian Anderson and company. As we dive into the second half, we'll find out if the next two quarters are any different from the first two. So far, it's been a runaway. And they say to win big, sometimes you have to sacrifice. Tell us exactly what that means, though, in basketball terms, Smitty. What it means, B.A., as a player, you might have to accept a more defined role. Most players grew up as the best player on their team. When you're on a contending team, sometimes you have to just star in your role. All right, time for an injury report. Let's get an update on Robert Williams. What's the status, Alan? I had a moment to catch up with Boston's athletic trainer. Unfortunately, he said it's a worst-case scenario. The arm appears to be broken. That'll be the end of his day and what could be the start of a long recovery process for him. It's hard to hear, guys. Okay, Ali, thank you. Boy, this injury definitely looks like it could be serious, guys. Uh -huh. Here's hoping it's not, but yeah, this team may have to get used to playing without him for a bit. I know he'll fight back hard to get back on the floor. He wants to be out here with his teammates. Tatum and Horford at the forward slots. MP is out there with Jalen Brown. And it's Gallinari in at the five. And that's the group for Ime Udoka as we begin the second half. Brown, a screen on Parker. Wall, the pass to Brown. Horford pulls it in. He's as surprised as we are. Most nights, that bucket is automatic. You know, thinking about the Clippers' history, those Lob City days really stand out to me. Yes, B.A., one of the most fun eras in recent NBA history. Blake and DeAndre throwing down alley oops from CP3. That team had their own style, attitude. I love watching that Lob City group play. Powell outside. Brown with a screen. Shot clock at six. Powell in the post. Tatum's there. Powell's shot is off. Boston's gone two for two from deep here in the third. Parker finds Horford. Shoots over Wall. And there's Horford on the assist by MP. Parker's got three assists now in this one. He drops yet another dive. Just facilitating this offense like a maestro. Brown with a screen. 
for three. George rebounded by the Celtics. Shaky start to the half. Going one for four. Still trying to find that groove. And Horford gets it to go. <laughs> I just love the ball move. Gives us a chance to catch up with Allie LaForce. Thanks. Well, Jason Tatum added muscle to his frame and layers to his game, but still not satisfied. He said, quote, I just got to be better. I have to elevate my level from being one of the top 10 to 15 players to a top five player. I got to make everybody else around me better. Brian, still work to do. And plenty of runway to do it, Allie. Thanks. To the inside, wall. Good. Five for nine shooting so far. He's shooting well, doing his best to keep this offense in gear, but he hasn't had a lot of support. Two minutes remaining in the third. Two minutes. Here's Parker. And a great assist by Brown as that one goes in. Brown's got four assists in the game. They're searching for a way to score. Yeah, buckets have been very tough to come by. Wall, the pass to Leonard. To the paint. A oh, nice shot by Brown. Brown's got his first points of the night. Nice pass by Kawhi Leonard. You can tell he's been working on his playmaking. And Kawhi Leonard. Defensive foul. Paul George. Second person of the And the Clippers going with a whole new. Out. In for Pritchard. And the Clippers will go for a different look here. Brown, he's checked in for Morris. Kawhi Leonard comes in for Batum. Paul George, he's checked in for Mann. And it's Powell in for Walker. And so in the game for the Clippers, at small and power forward, it's George and Leonard. Luke Kennard out there with Norman Powell. And it's Brown in at center. And for his career, Kawhi Leonard has more steals than fouls, Grant. You know, B.A., he and Jimmy Butler, I believe, the only two players to achieve that after a decade in the league. A pretty remarkable achievement. Fourth quarter play. We're about two and a half minutes through it now. Pass to Brown. Back to Powell. It'll go on Eric Bledsoe. That's his first foul. That's a foul. Sorry, I thought this was a contact Substitution. As the league owner, Grant, are you good with that? Ah, <laughs> uh, you know, B.A., I think I could get comfortable with that idea. I just think it speaks to the product. It speaks to how we present and package the game. There's so much excitement right now. It's a lot of fun to be a part of. It's one of the best investments in sports, the NBA. No question. MP with a basket on the assist from Brown. Brown's got five assists tonight. Like a matador. Ole! There was no defense. That has to be one of the easier shots I've seen tonight. And this is what happens when you start to break your opponent's spirit. The resistance is no longer there. Here's Leonard. Hey, shooting the ball well. He's five for nine in the game. Assisted. I can't believe that went in, and I don't think he can either. On the wing, MP. How covers. And again! Once again, he hits the 50-point mark as he continues to be a force of nature this season. This performance has tied him for third most 50-point games in a season. He just keeps delivering. Here's none. Shots blocked! And what a complete performance we saw from them. A dominant win in every way for the Celtics. Pretty clear who the better team was today. They dominated in just about every phase of this game, Grant. <laughs> B.A., it's almost hard to think what didn't go well for them. Their plan, their execution, everything was absolutely on point. And for the year now, they've chalked up 35 wins. Only a two-game series, and they win both. They have to be satisfied with this. And of all the highlights and performances we've seen here tonight, the one thing that stands out is what an unbelievable night it's been for MP. He really played at his preferred pace. Never let adjustments by the defense speed him up or slow him down. Cornette with the bucket. 
This is what winning is all about. Playing your best when it matters most. It's called killer instinct. It's one thing to be close at the end. It's another to finish. Powell's shot is off. Fantastic ball movement for them tonight. If things are definitely working offensively, a balanced attack is just so much harder to defend. And Parker throws it down. <laughs> this has to feel good. They gave their fans a show and secured the W. They're going to win by a nice margin. The effort was there all night. None. The pass to Brown. Back to none. 12 seconds left to play in the fourth. Five to shoot. The three ball. They get it again. Kicks it out to Kennard. So we see the Celtics taking the W here. Well, this might not have been the most competitive game we've ever seen, but you've got to appreciate their masterful performance. And I'm sure their fans appreciated it, too. We saw the outstanding defense and a loaded offensive effort. And they were just dominant out there. And that'll do it, folks. So for Grant Hill, Ali LaForce, and Steve Smith, I'm Brian Anderson, thanking everyone for watching tonight's game. We'll see you next time.